This is a patient who's a surgeon with dense central blinding scar with crisscrossing and deep open RK cuts with high irregular astigmatism of over 15 diopters. And I planned an anterior hand lamellar keroplasty here, judging the RK incisions that are open and very fragile, cornea less than 300 microns thick. And I'm using a tree find though very superficially because there is circumferential astigmatic keratotomy cuts cutting the RK. So I manually enter with my diamond to make some opening to enter the anterior lamellar plane and you can see each piece coming off literally like a piece of a pie. Does not matter in this case because the recipient cornea can be easily sacrificed. I'm now using a bevel down blade. Rarely do I allow sharp instruments in the cornea but this is one case where I would which is an eye which is hypotenuse as well as very thin in the cornea so you want to be deliberate and yet very careful. See the incisions here in high magnification, open as I've done yesterday, very deep and crisscrossing. So I have to be very careful because I have a danger both anterior to this blade where anything can just split open and posterior where I can literally go inside the eye if I make any mistake of using wrong pressure or being in the wrong plane. So you see me, despite this being a bevel down plane, I'm using my pressure corneal resistant techniques to find and keep my single plane to avoid irregular astigmatism. I'm also creating my peripheral pocket as you see me here doing as I'm dissecting my anterior lamellar. Then I use scissors to complete this dissection because it's still superficial but does its job of building my fibrous system. Peeling off the entire recipient cornea, I'm now taking off the scar from these multiple RK incisions, again using my corneal resistance guided technique. Pull the scar, don't cut it, pull it off so it comes off the incisions. This particular scar I'm de-roofing because this incision has been a constant problem with it being crossing the pupillary area and consist consistently open and broadly deficient as you see here. So I've de-roofed that scar area, I'm now using a donor lenticle of cornea. Not only am I clearing the center but building the tissue and suturing is which is very tricky here as you see me using different maneuvers as each time I pass my sutures I'm doing three maneuvers for three to four pieces at a time. I'm pushing, I'm pulling, I'm giving resistance and I'm pulling the needle straight up front to not only go through the corneal areas but also buttress the three portions of every cut that I'm coming out of. So you see me very carefully suturing, which has many functions, and again, in my mind, I never want to induce more astigmatism, no matter how difficult the case. So every time my incisions or sutures are coming out, I'm actually gathering three pieces of the cornea recipient to donor and arranging them in a closed fashion. I'm now also taking my anti-torque suture, which is a very deliberate attempt to decrease astigmatism after I remove my interrupted sutures in about a week. So you can see the suturing part is very important and here you see me putting the pieces back. That's the most difficult portion, especially with our desire. So here we are now, finishing up and tightening my anti-torque suture while I put the pieces again back together in the periphery, making sure nothing's bulging or being inadvertently uh, upturned. Here we are, end of the case. My anti-torque suture, usually I love for it to look like a star, but this is asymmetric because of the way we had to come out in different areas. This is the pre and post and thank you for your attention.